Scottie Pippen is a name that resonates strongly in the world of basketball. Recognized for his impressive defensive ability, versatility on the court, and being a key piece in the Chicago Bulls dynasty, during the 1990s, Pippen has left an indelible mark on the NBA. However, in recent years, he has been in the news for less admirable reasons. Pippen has launched a series of criticisms toward his former teammate Michael Jordan, questioning his work ethic, leadership, and character, only to later regret and contradict everything he said. This behavior has led many to wonder, is Scottie Pippen embarrassing himself? But before we get started, if you love our content and want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Your support means a lot to us. To understand the magnitude of Pippen's criticism, it's essential to understand his historical relationship with Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. Pippen was drafted by the Bulls in 1987 and, along with Jordan, formed one of the most formidable duos in basketball history. They won six NBA championships together, from 1991 to 1993 and from 1996 to 1998, and established a standard of excellence that few teams have managed to achieve. During their time together, Jordan was the undisputed leader of the team, known for his fierce competitiveness and relentless work ethic. Pippen, although often considered second in command, was vital to the team's success. Initially, Pippen's statements about Jordan in 2018 were filled with praise and admiration. Michael Jordan has been the greatest to ever put on a shoe and play in our sport. There's no doubt about it. He also said, they always ask me to compare him to LeBron. I try to make the best of it, but really the comparison should never be made. They both play two different positions. The way LeBron James plays, Michael Jordan was never asked to play like that because I was the facilitator. A defender played as complete as LeBron James when he needed it, but he was asked to score and he was great at that. And also, and there is no game in which I would prefer LeBron James over Michael Jordan. However, Pippen's tone shifted dramatically over time. His first public criticisms of Jordan began to appear in interviews and in his autobiography. In the book, Pippen accuses Jordan of being selfish and not properly recognizing the contributions of his teammates. He was particularly offended by the documentary The Last Dance, which covered the Bulls' 1997-1998 season and Jordan's rise as basketball's definitive superstar. Pippen felt the documentary portrayed Jordan in an overly positive light, while downplaying the crucial role others played. Pippen was especially upset about the documentary's coverage of his decision not to enter the game during the final seconds of a crucial 1994 playoff game against the New York Knicks. In the absence of Jordan, who had temporarily retired from basketball, Pippen became the leader of the Bulls, However, when coach Phil Jackson designed a final play for Tony Kukoc instead of him, Pippen refused to enter the game. Although Kukoc hit the winning shot, Pippen's decision left a stain on his leadership and professionalism. In The Last Dance, this incident was revisited, and Pippen felt that the documentary did not do justice to his feelings and the situation as a whole. Shortly after the premiere of The Last Dance, Pippen said that he was nothing more than a prop in the 10-part docuseries. They glorified Michael Jordan without sufficiently praising me and my proud teammates, Pippen wrote in his memoir, Unguarded. Michael deserved much of the blame. The producers had given him editorial control of the final product. The documentary could not have been published any other way. He was the star and the director. He added, even in the second episode, which focused for a time on my difficult upbringing, an unlikely path to the NBA, the narrative returned to MJ and his determination to win. I was nothing more than a prop. His best teammate of all time, he called me. I couldn't have been more condescending if I'd tried. To understand why Pippen has decided to speak out against Jordan, it's helpful to consider several factors. First of all, the accumulated resentment. Although Pippen and Jordan were teammates, the relationship always had an element of inequality. Jordan was the superstar, the player who received the most media attention and praise. Pippen, although crucial, was always in the shadows. This resentment may have intensified over time, especially after the release of The Last Dance, which revived old wounds. Secondly, the desire for recognition. Pippen has been an underrated player compared to Jordan. Despite his impressive achievements, he is rarely mentioned among the greatest players in NBA history. 
By criticizing Jordan, Pippin could be seeking to highlight his own contributions and get the recognition he feels he deserves. In a subsequent statement, Pippin described Jordan as a horrible player while speaking on his former Bulls teammate Stacey King's Gimme the Hot Sauce podcast. I saw Michael Jordan play before I came to the Bulls. You saw him play, he was horrible to play with. He was all one-on-one -on -one taking bad shots. Suddenly we became a team and started winning. We all forgot who he was. He was a player who wasn't really at the top of his category. Pippen then appeared to contradict his comments and his own impact on the league a day after his appearance on the podcast in an Instagram post with a photo of himself during his younger days accompanied by the caption, from humble beginnings to six championships, two gold medals, Hall of Fame and leading the Bulls franchise with the most playoff victories. Here's to the unsung heroes. Cheers. So what are you doing, Pippin? Do you hate Jordan? Do you love him? Is he the best or the worst player for you? We don't understand you. In the interview with King's podcast, Pippin also praised Lakers star LeBron James, the player many debate as Jordan's equal, if not his superior. LeBron will be the greatest statistician to ever play basketball, Pippin said, and there is no comparison with him, none. So does that make him the best player in history? For this reason, many LeBron fans take advantage of each statement to approve Pippin's comments against Jordan. Jordan had not previously commented on Pippin's anger towards him, but according to sports journalist Jackie McMullen, on the Hoop Collective podcast, Jordan seemed surprised by the recent statements. I don't think he was particularly excited about the fallout from The Last Dance and some of the things that happened to him, McMullen said. I think some of them threw him off a little bit, honestly. But after speaking as badly as possible about Jordan, in a recent interview, Scottie Pippen put aside his ongoing feud with Michael Jordan to admit that his former Chicago Bulls teammate is the best basketball player of history. Of course, I mean, look at the MVPs that he achieved, Pippen said on Australia's Today Show. I think it all comes from our success as a team, he continued. Obviously, someone is going to bring those achievements home. Yes, he was the best basketball player, definitely. Which makes us wonder again, is Scottie Pippen embarrassing himself? And that's not all. Recently, Pippen claimed that NBA scorers in the 1990s fabricated statistics for Jordan and thus benefited him. Let's say I deflected the ball and gave it to MJ. I should get credit for the steal, right? No. Most of the time, the steal went into his column on the stat sheet and I couldn't do anything about it, he said. One night, a scorer came into the locker room seal to hand the stat sheets to Phil Jackson. He couldn't believe the look on his face. The guy said to Michael, look, MJ, we'll take care of you. Pippin said about the benefits Jordan received from the league. Pippin's criticism has had a negative impact on his legacy, at least in the short term. Instead of being remembered solely for his impressive on-court skills and his crucial role in the Bulls dynasty, he is now also known for his controversial statements this may affect how fans and sports historians perceive his contribution to basketball. These criticisms, many say, could stem from rumors about Jordan's relationship with Pippin's ex-wife. Marcus Jordan, Michael's son, has been seen with her on various trips fueling speculation. But these are just assumptions. Scottie Pippen is undoubtedly one of the great players in NBA history. His ability, versatility, and contributions to the Chicago Bulls during their glory days cannot be understated. However, his recent criticism of Michael Jordan has tarnished his legacy and led many to question his motivations. Although he has the right to express his feelings and seek recognition for his achievements, it is important to consider the impact of his words on his own reputation and public perception. We want to hear from you. Do you think Pippen is embarrassing himself? Do you think they get along badly or well currently? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Remember, our channel is about celebrating the legends of the game and the incredible stories behind them. Stay tuned for more great content, and as always, keep the passion for sports alive. See you in the next video.